Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second part of this series that, uh, yeah, as you can see, I had specific plans when I named this character. Um, uh, last time we got the first four nanos and we're just gonna wrap up the rest of the future and put- and potentially start the beginning of the past. But for now, as you can see, uh, we need to talk to Mandark. If that isn't made clear by these three missions telling us to do that. <laughs> Alright. So off we go. So the first thing we're going to do is, uh, we're gonna talk to, uh, Samurai Jack. We are going to uh, see what missions he has, and then uh, we're going to go from there. Um, actually, I'm curious. What is this? Oh, he wants to simply just uh, want the mission to end right there. Okay. I guess another thing I want to do is uh, finish up Candy Cove right there. I mean, go to Candy Cove afterwards, because I do want to accept... Uh, because I do want to accept, uh, the, uh, Mandark's next mission. Anyways. In this episode, we're also going to see if we can take out Don Doom and Bad Max with this specific nano setup. To be honest, if I had heal point and drain like I normally would, I could definitely take them on, but with this specific setup, I don't know if I can, so we'll see. Alright, right, so Jack wants us to do some uh, more junk ghost junkyard stuff, but we'll, we won't do that until a bit later. So now we are going to Peach Creek, we're going to turn in this mission, then we're going to go to Candy Cove. I'll see you guys then. Alright, and we are about to arrive. Um, th that's actually the first time I ever unpaused the recording using my my shortcuts. Um, so here we go. Wait, do you have anything else? Nope. And you want us to go to to the Beach Creek and back to zone. Okay. Um, I'll accept that later. For now, we're going to Candy Cove, because I actually do want to progress through this. Actually, hmm, I think I would like it better if I get Eduardo with me. Because at this point, uh, we do need to heal, and because I can just pause the recording, I don't have to make all of you sit through this the early game slow running. So... Yeah, that's probably what we're going to, uh, work with. And in case you're wondering, yes, these two P cursed PNGs are going to remain here throughout the rest of the playthrough. <laughs> because I think it's funny. Oh, wow, I haven't been to Candy Cove yet. That sucks. <laughs> Alright, well, good thing I have a mission, uh, slots open. Ah, oh, well, well. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll, uh... I guess I'll see you all when they arrive at Candy Cove. Alright, we have arrived here in Candy Cove, filled with... I think these, um... I think these tank terrors are like the only, like, enemy that's actually not unused in this area, because this area is filled to the brim with unused enemies. I don't know if these treadhead enemies are unused or not, so that's something that's... I also have some question marks about. Now, I'm actually going to just continue to the right here. Actually, no, I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that because at one point we are going to um, arrive close to the area of the pirate camp. So, we're going to touch the temporal points, which is the main objective of this mission. And actually, we're going to utilize the... Alright, the best utilization of the guard power here to utterly dispose of these guys. Cheers, mate. Giant 
Tag Terror. That sounds like a Smash. That sounds like a Smash Bros. announcer right there. What I got. Ooh, we actually got quite a bit of items. Including this pants, which I don't need. Don't need this. Um uh, Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stick with that. Actually, no, I'm going for the the male the melee morph um <laughs> um uh, um look, so yeah, I'll do that. And when we arrive over here, we are going to see another set of unused enemies. These guys down there, those, uh... Uh... These Barrel enemy variations, the Barrel Buster. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the only enemy outside of Fuse that has the damage, uh, secondary effects. I don't, and I'm not even certain that um, Fuse even has this. And these series spawns are also unused. Ah, oh, crap. And over here we have ourselves the Candy Bandits. Now this, I do not know if this is unused or not. At least it makes this area a bit more inviting than it normally would be. Blessings enemies are always going to be a pain. Because I uh, can't, because Eddie's um, suboptimal to use because of his cosmic attributes. Now, we're given the most lenient time frame to complete this specific objective. <laughs> And we're done for that. Now let's go meet. Let's go to the pirate camp. This is like an area that's not many people are likely gonna see outside of doing this mission, which is not even required. I can go to the past right now, but because my completionist brain is telling me otherwise, I am going to complete all the missions back here. Yep, and we have some missions here as well. Land lover. Let's do this real quick. Let's take on these tank terrors. This is basically confirmation that tank terrors are are completely used in the original game. Jeez, heal self area heals nothing. <laughs> in, compa in comparison to heal um, self. Alright, the candy store that um, Licorice Lips is referring to is the one that's in Pokey Oak Cell. Uh, actually, what do I- how do I want to do this? No, I, I'm going to return to Samurai Jack. 
So I'm actually going to meet you all. Uh, well, I'm just gonna run, run away from that guy. I'm gonna meet you all back in Ghost Junkyards. All right, I um, arrived here in Ghost Junkyards, sold all of my items here, and got all the five scavenged items needed to switch powers. But we're not gonna do that yet. First, we're going to complete this. And we are going to save this mission for later. I mean, we kind of have to because we don't have any more space. <laughs> so, that is that. I'm going to meet you all in Pokeyoke South. Alright, well, Scratch go uh, meeting you in Pokeyoke South. This is probably the fastest way to get to where we want to go for uh, the mission. The candy store. In the meantime, we can complete this. We can complete this. And we can proceed through that. Precious is across time, and this. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Alright, and now we shall explore around Genius Grove. So the funny thing about Genius Grove is that, uh... You, you, you're find, you're gonna find some, like, weaker versions of, uh, Genius Grove and Tech Square enemies, so these are, like, weaker, uh, Genius Grove enemies to Tech Drones. But as you go over here, you find weaker versions of the, uh, Tech Square enemies, the Tech Queens. I'm pretty sure they're called Mech Queens in Tech Square. But as we go over here, la de la de do, la de la de di. All right, and now the next uh, start. The next part of this is asks you to go to the cold sack or the cold sack. But instead, we are going to go to the candy store next and potentially confront Don Do. So, I'll see y'all there. Along the way, we found ourselves a stronger level 4 weapon. That will be an automatic include. Right. Nice. But we're about to arrive here. Um, I, I actually think that um, item is simply just a mission reward for Meat Mandark. So, yeah, that's cool. Now we have ourselves the strongest possible melee weapon we can have at this point. Which will prove to be crucial for both Dondoom and Badmex. Now, something I just realized is that I don't have the best gear for them, which is the big kicker, so... So this encounter with Dondoom and Badmex is very likely to go wrong, for that reason alone. But, it is what it is. We can always, like, try again later, but we might as well just test out the ground. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to hang around here and wait for Don Doom to show up. So, I'll unpause the recording when that happens. And here it is. Donius of the Doom Variety. I'm actually going to go ahead and get some... Give gumballs to everyone and let's give this bad boy a shot. Look how, how posing this is. Let's get him. I'm not dealing enough damage. Yeah, now this happened. I think I need better gear. I think this is possible, I just need better gear. Oh, I need crit me right there. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Alright, it was worth the shots. It was worth the shots. But I think I just need better gear. Because I was just taking too much damage. So that will be... The first death of the playthrough, if I can find where the, that is. There we go. Alright, well... That is fine. 
Let's just head to the coldy sack and turn in. Actually, no, let's do this while I'm here. So here in Pokeyoke's North, um, we're we're trying to find a the the head of Larry three thousand. We started um we're 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 starting our investigation here in Pokeyoke's North, and we're going to talk to number five and do all that. So. Yeah, this is a fairly straightforward mission, but the reason why I delayed for this long is because um, this eventually takes us to Goat's Junkyard, and um, we want to do that alongside doing um, all Samurai Jack's missions there, so just do numerous things at once. Alright. Alright, and I'll meet you all when I meet up with Eddie. Alright, and here we are. We got a couple of missions to turn in. Or advance in this case. Yeah, a couple of missions to advance. And we might as well advance this mission too. We're not going to complete messages across time until later. It's likely going to be one of the last things we're going to complete. And let's just stop by Candy Cove to turn in, um, to complete this mission and turn in this one. And might as well also accept this one. So yeah, we're coming to the home stretch here. And hopefully in our visit to Ghost Junkyard, we can get better, um, armor to deal with Don Doom and Bad Max. So I'll see you guys in Candy Cove. Alright, here we are. Alright, Candy Jar turned in, and I think we are essentially done with Candy Cove. We don't have to come back here no more. And as a reward, we get Pistol, which we will not need. Okay, see you again, Peach Creek Commons. Alrighty. Oh, well, we're headed to Samurai Jack anyway, so that is incredibly convenient, actually. So... Actually, my route in here turned out to be perfect. It, it turned out to be even better than I originally anticipated. So, in terms of gear, we're, uh, we're fine. We're about to deliver a near-expired milk, by the way, to... Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, Eddie literally says right here, the expiration day is today. He's actually said in Samurai Jack, near expired milk, which is, uh, something. Uh, we're going to advance this mission line. Actually, no, the next thing we're going to do is hot potato stuff, as well as bandit bandits. So we're going to talk to Jack here. Okay, let's go ahead and take on some enemies that are in uh, Peach Creek Estates. So the main thing about Peach Creek Estates as of right now is that we have to avoid Bad Max as much as possible. Because if we were unable to defeat Dawn Doom, then we do not stand a chance against Bad Max. Because Bad Max is literally just an upgraded Dawn Doom. So we are just going to focus in our current mission obje objectives. One of which is uh, Sewer Creepers. But let me take on these two. Pretty sure I already have Dracula Cloak. I actually don't. Huh. Nice. Alright, let's take on these sewer creepers. Take on these sewer creepers and pray that um, Batmax doesn't show up, because he can show up in this visit in this general area. Oh, 
Nice. All right, let's go ahead and uh, and go to the infected zone. All right. We have some potatoes to find. This is fairly simple to do. Um, these bash loader enemies, yeah, these bash loader enemies are unused and they're level four for some reason. Which is making me believe that they're supposed to be um, Goat's Junkyard enemies before game scrapped. But Retribution repurposed them to be here in the Estates Infected Zone. Man, I can't wait till I get number one. Then I have like actual good form of healing. All right, and we are done here. Yeah, these bash loaders, which are variations of enemies that are typically in Go in uh, Peach Creek Estates, um, they're nothing special, to be honest. Alright, well, I'll meet you all back at Goat's Junkyards. Alrighty. Completed. Completed. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's it. That's all of the level 3 missions. We only have um, three level uh, 4 missions remaining. One of which includes Jack and the Giant Robots. Alright, and both of these missions evolve to going into the Infected Zone. So let's do that. Vegas' his last stand. It has been his last stand for a quite a lo long time at this point. Um, we kind of have to obey the platform rules of this infected zone because we don't quite have, we don't quite have the mobility to do so yet. Um, down, down here we have these raptor enemies, which you're probably more familiar with in, uh, Townsville Park. Alright, this will be moved back. This is typically how you uh, work around Megas or disinfect the zone because of that divide and tail. You're supposed to go around. Anyways, let's go ahead and take on these toxic toxic spawns, and I'm pretty sure these uh, dreadhead enemies are are unused, but I don't know. I don't know at this point. So these toxic spawns are unique in the fact that they are the only version of these guys that are physical attackers. I think you will be the last one. Alright. Alright, now we have to make our way up. Incoming message. I have a message for you. 
and uh, you're able to just get enough of the mission trigger to, um, or get close enough to the mission trigger to not actually be there, but still count, make it count. Alright, and here's the head. Unfortunately, he is only head, but sometimes that's all you need. In more ways than one, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. But we're not quite done here yet in Ghost Junkyard. Because we have Raptor Rampage next. Four more. Okay, am um, I? My health and my nano stamina is a little bit low, so let's um, pause for a second to take a look at what we got here. Ooh, that's uh, earliest access to rockets, but we don't need that. But we do need this. This is good uh, gear. This is pretty good gear. There we go. Now we're getting now we're getting better equipment, better armor. Now we just need to take on five more. My hope is that we get the Mach 5 uh, pants or shirt. I forgot which one it was at this level. I, I went to Eddie instinctively because that's usually the heal nano. <laughs> Shouts to uh, Jack being a Darklands NPC, but in the future, he's literally just all the way these level 4 Ghost Junkyard enemies. Talk about humbling yourself a little bit. Nice. And we have here the Proton Meta Mace. The strongest weapon we have up to this point. Alright, but we can do better. We can get better, better gear. And by doing and to do so, let's take on these guys. These are the heavy haulers, which is an unused variant of the heavy pinchers. So we are gonna take them on right now. Oh my gods. They are much weaker than um these this enemy archetype um, usually is. Jeez, these crits. But, oh well, first off, let me see what I got here. Alright. But, if we go to the side, we can see that we have these bigger boss versions of them. And there's like a bunch of them in a row, which I learned from one of my recent streams. So, let's take them on right now to see if we can get, we can get better gear. Some metal gear. Some may say.
And this just continues in a row until uh, we get to the bottom left, the, the bottom left corner, and then it just stops. Oh, there's nowhere to go. So I'm going to beat up these guys and see what I get. Alright, well, so well, so far I got nothing, but as you can see here, this is the very... I did not see this! There's a level 9 enemy here?! It's the boss version too! I'm gonna die! I gotta boo! I did not know that was there! I'm sorry, Eduardo. Huh, well, you learn something new every day. Well, anyways. Alright, I've successfully grinded the two, two equipment that I need. This rare shirt that will get boost my defense significantly, and this rare uh, shoes that will also boost up my defense a good amount. Alright, and with that... We're all good for equipment when it comes to dealing with Dawn Doom and Bad Max. So let's go ahead and... Actually, no, I'm going to do Bad Max later. For now, we are going to talk to Eddie. So I'll see you guys then. Alrighty. And what do we have get for that? Nothing. Okay. As expected. I mean, I could have sol sold it, sold it, but whatever. Anyways, I actually recently decided, and by recent, I mean like literally just now. I'm going to see if you can get every single melee weapon in the game as well. So I will buy a practice stick and a slugger. And there's literally no reason for me to do this, I just feel like it. Now, uh, we have these two missions remaining that we can just, uh, do right now. But, I actually want to get some gumballs, because I need, uh, I need Cosmic's gumballs in order to take on the, uh, the three world bosses. That's right, three. I'm counting that freaking Scrap Master from the back of Ghost Junkyard as a world boss at this point. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and grind on level 1 enemies until I do so. This might be a long grind, but it is what it is. I will see you guys then when I show you the results. Network close! Okay, for, so for about a good 10 minutes or so of grinding, I got ourselves something like the Puta. Oh, that's actually something that's... Uh, not a good word in a different language, but that's literally what it's uh, uh, the acronym of this is. And we got ourselves one of the two ultra rares for level one. I'll continue to grind more of that off stream. Anyways, um, these are unused enemies of the caterplugs, the shock plug, the shock bugs. But now it's time to do this. All right. And now, we have ourselves a little bit of a strict time limit to get to uh, Pokey Oak South. Um, the fast way to get there, as far as I know, is by, uh, by the way, I took the long way around, which is pretty, pretty cool. Is <laughs> to go to Peach Creek Estates using the Scamper. And then Monkey Skyway to uh, Genius Grove. And now uh, we. It's located over here, which is where one of the Cocoa Eggs are, um, are actually. So this will take us all the way to Genius Grove, and then I can use the run ability to get all the way to Pokey Oak South. I'll meet you guys there. Alright, we shall cut through these trees, or just simply just run past them. We'll pick up the cocoa egg here, and here it is. Alright, might as well get this guy out of the way. Um, nice. Oh, 
Ooh, I actually need that. that that's good. Alright, I'll meet you all back at Genius Grove. Alrighty, and time to complete the final two missions of the path of the future. And that is it. And we actually reached the Fusion Matter Cap. Which is not going to matter too much because we're going to switch Buttercup's powers very soon. So, I can actually just sell both of these things. Because now, the time has come. The last thing to do in the future, and for the purposes of this video, is the world bosses. So, I'm actually going to get 50... Because I do indeed need, need nano potions. I might actually need weapon boosts too, so I might I might get that as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'll get weapon boosts as well. Uh, I don't. Oh, uh, this is literally gonna bleed the rest of my money. Okay, maybe it's probably not not as necessary. It's probably not as necessary. Alright, it's time to rematch Dawn Doom, so I'll see you guys back in Pokey Oak South. Alrighty, here it is. Let's get to it. Oh, nasty crits. Oh, this is gonna be close. Oh, that's a nasty crit. Nasty crit. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, this is gonna be so close! We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Dawn Doom has been conquered. And we got ourselves a Super Slayer shirt for level 5. Excellent! Excellent! But we're far from finished. We have harder super bosses or world bosses yet to come. I'll see you guys for Bad Max. Alright, Bad Max spotted, but it's running away from me, but I know we're the path of the, the path in of this thing. Alright, let's get to it. The harder of the two. Oh crap. It's always better to just immediately do the thing. Oh, this is gonna be so tight. What? Crap. I lost out some valuable damage. Th oh no. It's looking Jover, ladies and gentlemen. Come on! No! Dang it. That is indeed a death. Uh, I'm wondering if it's possible now because. Yeah, that was not. That was honestly not nearly as close as it could have been. Well, fortunately, Bad Max is just there, so we can just re-challenge him right now. Wait a minute! I haven't- actually, no. Whatever.
Alright. Let's try again. Crap. No! Wait, what? The heal did- It didn't stun! It didn't stun properly! What happened there? It didn't stun properly. i never seen that before. Come on. We got this. Or maybe Butter Cup was improperly recharged and I didn't notice that. That's another realistic possibility of what happened. I think Bad Max is possible, but it's just gonna be like both luck dependent and also. Actually, yeah, it's gonna be kind of luck dependent and also dependent on my execution because I feel like I've been doing this a bit too slow. Uh, this this attempt is already looking over. Unless No Wait what? Wait, what? What happened? We did it! Why was my stun cancelled? Why did my Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna question it. That we did it. I'm not gonna question it. We did it. Let's go. Bad Max conquered. But... As we saw earlier this episode, we have one more, one more world boss to go. It's not the one that you're thinking. Actually, probably, actually, it is because it's literally something that we've gone over earlier this episode. Anyways, one more to go. All right. Well, the annoying thing about this specific world boss is that if I when if I die, then I'm gonna have to go through the gauntlets of giant heavy haulers again. Anyways, let's do this. Oh no, oh no. Oh wait, that was a crit. Oh, we did it! We conquered it! Yes! And it actually dropped some weapon boosts, or nano potions rather. So, is there anything else back here? There you go, Hasta luego. Hey, everybody. I go now. Anything else in store? I mashed my space bar. Hey, I think that's that's it. Yeah. Cool. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the future. We co we conquered every single mission. Got the best gear possible you possibly get um, can get in the future, at least for a melee-centric playstyle, and we conquered all of the world bosses. In the next episode of this playthrough of Retribution Melee Only, we are going to enter the past and we are going to 
start doing missions there, as you would in a normal casual playthrough. I'll see you guys then.